Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome to the Kedron factory. So today we're going to have a run through Matt and Shannon's 19 foot 6 Kedron XC5. So it's fantastic to see Matty and Shannon back up taking delivery of their second new Kedron here. All hitched up to the 200 series. So this one here features an island queen bed at the front. In the middle it's got the wraparound club dinette with the movable table. Opposite that the kitchen area and at the rear has the full ensuite at the back of the van. Certainly a lovely colour scheme here, so they've gone for complementing it with their own bedspread, which looks great and toes in with all of the colour scheme in this one. It certainly looks very nice indeed. Back to the outside of the van here, we will just have a quick overview on the outside and we'll pop inside and have a look. So this van is the first with the full scrub pack. So this here incorporates some features such as that front and side alloy laser cut powder coated spoiler and side bracket system for the solar panels. So you can see the laser cutouts in the side of this. So with the new style of runoff on the roof, this here now incorporates these scallop cutouts that have two features that are really beneficial for the solar up top. So one is not only the water runoff underneath, but they also allow the solar additional strength in the bracketry system, but to also have more ventilation. So the more ventilation underneath these panels, the more efficient they are. So this here is a, a new system there with the scrub pack, and it is certainly a beautiful finish off on the van and ties in wonderful on this model with all of that front composite roll system. When you come down from the front on that, it also features the front scrub plates, which are genuine Rhino coated. And the, and the scrub pack also incorporates Rhino down the side. You can have that higher scrub panel on the side of that also, and a choice of local Dulux powder coating in another array of colours there so you can actually also choose some customised colours to suit with the new scrub pack models as well. So it's great to see the first scrub pack coming through and certainly one very nice looking van indeed. Beautifully all set off with the toning so you've got the padded cover on this with a bit of red piping to pull in. That goes in with the red behind the XC5 laser cut out there on those front protection shields. Obviously with Matt and Shannon's front bike rack and then the scrub pack lays it into that front alloy spoiler system up top. So we might pop straight inside the van and we'll have a look. This van is also riding on the Kedron KRS airbag suspension. Stepping up inside the van here, I'll just step you in and pop back into the ensuite area. So inside the van here, wide up top in the pearl, certainly opens a van up, makes it feel really nice and roomy. Beautiful touch with that pearl in the metallic, pulling in down to the white splash back in this and complementing off with that black glass sink. So that's against that marble look in the laminate as well. It certainly pulls in with one very nice colour scheme indeed. This then flows through to the Tetford full burner, so it's three in gas and one electric element here. So they are all in the new style, so really nice and secure on the lids, side brackets. And then they've also got a fan forced oven down below. Popping back up above this is the dual outlet tap. So that has the filtered drinking water separated from the washing up water. Above this is dual main 240 volt outlets, either end LED lighting. The slim line in the range hood that's recessed up into the cupboard work. To the overhead cupboard up top, this has side brackets on the Whirlpool in the microwave on this one. Stepping into the electronics heartland here has the press button circuit resetters here. Nice and easy to do if you pop a fuse or a circuit. Up top on the left is the dual controller for the low profile aircon up top here. 
it has the slimline dimmable LED lights on, reverse cycle, also it's a remote control. And then that also controls that instant gas hot water system on the outside of the van too. Back into the overhead cupboard work here, there is a controller for the 1600 watt inverter, combined with a 60 amp charger. A great feature with this here is to be able to press that button and dial back the amount of charge that that inverter charger will take and put to that 300 amp lithium power pack. This then will in turn give the inverter more power to be able to run the likes of say a coffee machine, a computer charger or other 240 volt devices. Back up top here and you've got your CD player which features Bluetooth, USB and CD. And then underneath this is the Cymarine. So you can connect to your smartphone with a free app and get a host of readouts here also on your phone. So the state of charge of the lithium power pack, you've also got your inputs of solar and vehicles DC to DC, as well as water tank level indicators. So your drinking water, shower water tanks, and then your gray water tank level indicators. And then also to that electrical cabinet temperature on the outside of the van as well. Underneath the electronics here is some welcome chockies and bubbles. So there's some ambers there from South Australia. Up above to the right here is the TV DVD. So this here swivels back to the club dinette and also the bed. I've got their own bed spread on here. Really pulls in well with the color theme of the van. So we thought we'd pop it on there to showcase also. Lifting up underneath the bed on this one. So on the outside of the van has a pull-out recess there for a 32 litre fridge freezer. So that basically takes up those left hand style drawers. And underneath here is the 300 amp lithium power pack. So the club dinette has the ability for that table to adjust in, out, left, right, up and down. When it goes down you can take the backing, so the backing cushions out and then drop that infill cushion in to make that a really nice large additional bed inside the van. So we'll pop this back down. This has some leather pouches either side of the bed to be able to put some valuables, keys, phones, uh, tablets, iPads, etc. in. Either side of the bed has the slimline windows. So this gives the ability to be able to drop that top one down if you're say in a caravan park or if you want the utmost amount of view out, free camping and ventilation, you can have both down. Or if you want the utmost amount of privacy, you can have both up as they are now. Swiveling back and looking around, you can see the size of that large club dinette, beautiful open roomy club dinette in that and that fully adjustable table leg there. Matty and Shannon have gone for pull out drawers either end of that wraparound club dinette. Above this is the diesel heater controls. Another really nice large window here to be able to take in the view and ventilation when you wish to do so. Above that is plenty more storage. So bottom to top in the stainless steel piano hinge and then the push and twist marine grade catches. So a nice positive lock catch there. Some more welcome gifts here, some key tags, some tactical pens, some coffee mugs. And then wrapping up above the club dinette is an additional 12 volt fan. So there's one either side of the Island Queen bed. And then those fans are variable in speed as well as have a sleep time also. I'll just pop open and showcase the compressor fridge freezer. So the two door compressor fridge freezer. Plenty of space there to freeze down your food and ice. And then plenty of fridge space here for your food also. Looking back towards the ensuite, you can see the entrance door to the shower and toilet area has that full height mirror. So certainly a fan of that. It really opens the van up and makes it feel a lot more roomy. We'll go inside and have a look. So this has the Kedron travel latches here. So lock them off when you are towing. Entering into the ensuite, plenty more storage there. Oval ceramic bowl with the flick mixer tap. Again, that really nice complementing laminate there and that slate look wrapping up into some mirror space. Additional storage above and a wall mounted washing machine. 
Another window here with the recessed towel rail holders to the left and swiveling down to the recessed toilet roll holder. Entering into the shower, you can see the press folded and locally powder coated slip and crack resistant shower base. Above this is the dye bond or the aluminium walls in the shower itself and up to that shampoo and shower gel dispenser. Plenty more ventilation, plenty of LED lighting and we'll just wrap around and have a little bit of an overview from inside the ensuite here. On the floor is the sectional tile so I'll just overlay a shot here just to show the tiles going down in the factory. Coming back and wrapping up to the roof itself is an aluminium dye bond in the ceiling. So above that is that Australian made thermo block insulation, so non-toxic. And then wrapping back into the van and into the walls themselves, just to showcase that interlocked aluminium frame. And then also with the solid high tensile steel pin punch. So that goes through and secures it all together. And then that also has a non-toxic Australian made insulation in between as well. Back up to the roof here is the Kedron design registered with the unique ability to access an internal drop swing to that Australian made filter. So when you're traveling on dirt and dusty roads, turn on your filter compression hatch. This will pressurize inside the van with a positive pressure of fresh filtered air and then have a flow going out the likes of the gas vents in the door. All right, we'll pop outside and have a bit of a run around the van and we will let Maddie and Shannon go for their test drive and adjust up the electric brakes and make sure everything's all working in sync. So the LC200 here has had the towing upgrade which has allowed the ATM on this van to be able to go up to 3,990. So with the four ton towing on the tow vehicle, just gives that additional payload inside the van itself. Again, that bike rack on the front, that power jack with a nice weatherproof cover, padded cover that goes over the top, those twin four and a half kilo bottles with the access port up top, Twin 10 litre jerrys, one either side. You can have spare diesel in this one for the diesel heater tank that's inside there with the lockable filler up top. And then also have 10 litres the other side for say spare fuel for the generator. They are those front scrub protection plates on this. So this fan up top, as we showcased before, has four 180 watt solar panels and two 80 watt solar panels. So there's no need for a seventh solar panel on this one. It has plenty up top. So it has that lift up front awning, which is wonderful weather protection for that front window. So you might lift this up when you're camped up, have your view out. You've got an LED light underneath that turns on. And when you go to travel, you can simply click that down, lock that off, and then have a really wonderful rock protection on the front of the van as well. Swiveling round back towards the axle group, show an open storage on this one here. So this one's been fully galvanized lined, so all sealed off in this, an Ando or a 12 volt outlet, LED lighting. This one has the Aussie Traveler walls, so they're all kitted off and fitted up with the Aussie Traveler wall set for the Annex. Hoses and lead kit there with the padded cover to put all those in as well some press button ventilation here so you can have those stainless steel buttons pressed in to seal that off or press them both open to have that ventilate out in that cavity recess here and provisioning for a 32 liter fridge freezer as well with that slide also additional ventilation just going to showcase here this has the kedron krs airbag suspension part of that kit as standard is the tire inflation kit with the extender to reach your tow vehicle. Say you're traveling on the beach, soft sand, you come off the beach, you have the ability to be able to connect into your air system of the van. So that's in here in the external TV provision recess. So you can clip your tire inflation kit in there, pump your tires back up on both the van and also with the extender, reach your Land Cruiser as well.
underneath the van just showcasing the Kedron KRS suspension with the Firestone American airbags. So these here have those protection plates in front that are all formed in part of that hot dip galvanized chassis. So these here have internal and external peace of mind protection, especially for the salt air. Popping underneath, you can see the KRS in the suspension arms there. So with this system, you have the paddles to be able to lower the airbag system right down. You can raise the van up for your off-road travel when you're heading steady. And then you can also level a van up left to right. The KRS system here has all been physically ram tested at a government approved test facility and is all certified as well. In front of the KRS here are the food grade Australian made water tanks. So these here have the recessed pipe fittings for the rock protection, they are internally strengthened. So we've done a bit of a showcase earlier and had Dave drive the mini excavator over the top just to showcase how strong these Australian made tanks are. They also feature those four baffles. So these allow rocks up top to drop out when you are traveling in off-road, plus also assist with a beautiful stable tow. So I'll just drop over the top here, some vision overtaking a B double truck just to show how beautifully stable these vans sit. Certainly one beautiful stable tow there, especially when you go past the front of the big trucks pushing that bow wave of air, having the van set up correctly and having a beautiful, stable, secure tow is absolutely paramount. Forward of this is the airbag tank with some nice rock protection also. So we'll pop out and we'll just have a look up top. This has, with the Rhino coating, also the towel rail, which blends in very neatly with that Rhino coated side. As part of with that scrub pack up the top there with the XC5 laser cut in. Also with this system here are the front and side protection rails. So these here are alloy and all powder coated and bolt up to the chassis. So the top ender has steel scrub rails formed in part with the hot dip galvanized chassis and the scrub pack available on the compact, the XC5 and the all terrain has the ability to have these as a kit bolt up for your side front protection plates as well. Swiveling around to the rear of the van here, twin spare wheels. This has the black pole carrier in between the Kedron and the XC5 logo is a reverse camera up top. And then below this is the outside shower recess here. Nice and accessible, but tucked away nice and neat in between those spare wheels. Stepping back and looking at the offside of the van here, really nice clean lines that has the access to the cassette toilet. This here is that instantaneous gas hot water system. Underneath here, if you're camped up in an environmentally sensitive area, you can shut off this blue valve and hold your shower water and your washing up water and stopping it from going into the sensitive waterways. Above that is a black valve also, so when you're camped up and stored, you can turn that over and that will release the pressure out of that airbag tank, just to take the load off the system. Nice press of Kedron into that external die bond or aluminium sheeting on the side there, and then that has the Rhino coating over the top. External recess here for the Heartland for the electronics and this features the stainless steel press button ventilation. So you can have these open most of the time but shut these when you're traveling on the dirt roads. When you do so, that will protect the inside recess here and your sensitive electronics from the dust ingress. And when you do so, there is a thermostat controlled fan up the top which will kick in and draw that warm charging air into the cabin of the van to drop out those gas vents, assisted also with that filter compression hatch. To the right hand side is the inverter charger. This is your breakaway, the DC to DC charger and the regulator for the solar panels. Additional LED lighting and then underneath this is the isolation switch. So when you go into storage of the van, you can turn this isolation switch around 
and that will then isolate the 300 amp lithium power pack for when you've got the van stored. Underneath down the bottom are the controls for the airbag. So simply at the press of these two paddles, you can drop the whole van down in height. So that will lower the van down to make it nice and easy to get in and out. You can then press both paddles up and then lift the van up to its highest ride height and steadily traverse some off-road areas. So that will give you your clearance to be able to tow across. And then once you get on a dirt road, you can then drop the van back to say a highway travel height. Lift this up and I'll showcase these side protection rails. So part of the scrub pack is also the addition of some bolt up alloy side protection rails. So the top ender has the side protection rails as part of the hot dip galvanized chassis here. So the top enders feature in as part of that hot dip galvanized chassis. But swiveling back to the new scrub packs available on the XC5s, compacts and the all terrains is the ability to have your bolt up alloy powder coated scrub rails. So these towing in with those front side protection plates as well as that front laser cut spoiler system which wraps into those side rails for additional ventilation for the solar panels up top certainly provides a wonderful looking pack here for the new scrub pack in the vans. So we'll just swivel around the front and just showcase off the tow vehicle as well. So it is the ever popular LC200. So it's all set up for the future travels here. Certainly a beautiful looking package and certainly one that a lot would aspire to, to be able to head off and travel around this beautiful country of ours when it is safe to do so. So on behalf of the whole Gould family and the whole Kedron team here, we would like to thank Maddie and Shannon very much for choosing Kedron again for their second new van here. You've certainly done a wonderful job with the whole van, the layout, the colors, the features. It is certainly a beautifully well kitted out van, that is for sure. Thank you again for tuning in. Thanks for all the likes, the shares, the comments and all the great support here in Australia and all around the world. All right, I will wrap it up here and we might catch up with Maddie and Shannon up at Noosa one day. And then we might catch up with you again on the next walkthrough. Thanks again, everyone. Stay safe, all the very best and cheers for now.
Yeah.